Okay, choose a text language. English. The audio. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just put English. Sega! And by the old studios, I have no idea what they're about. Yakuza like a dragon. Hello, everybody! This is Anime Game on Taco 95. What I'm playing is Yakuza like a dragon. Now, I do not know what this game's about. All I know that this game was made by Sega. And for those of you who don't know what Yakuza is, Yakuza is the Japanese mafia. Where they perform some crimes across the Japanese cities and you could recognize them if you notice they have a lot of tattoos on their body or if you notice that their pinky is missing or well sometimes some of them could wear some business suits so it's gonna be hard for you to know who's their clues or not. And anyways, and it's mostly best not to mess with them because if you mess with them, they're gonna kill you, and no joke, they will. So, I wonder what this game's about anyways. Let's go play. Okay, let me just bind it a little bit, just in case some of you can't see anything. Oh, an autosave. So, if I see that display, it means it autosave. Oh, so I don't have to worry about forgetting. Let's see. Thank you for supporting the studio. Huh. Looks like I got a free item for free. Okay. There's a works of fiction and... Yeah, it is fiction. I mean, it's a feel game. Chapter 1. Light and Shadow. Long have I waited for this day. I know you can't have forgotten my face. Do not pretend otherwise. Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. That man was my father. Is this a guy you pretending to be a boy? that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night? Having dreamt of drawing this dagger. Today, finally, my blade will have its due. Quiet. Men, have your way with her. All fake. You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place, for I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary Terror of Edo! Slasher is none other than I. Did you see that? Father. Bravo! 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 Magnificent! Wonderful! Oh, cool, a necklace of money. Nice. I guess this is how they pay actors in Japan, I guess. Master. 
Yasumi. Did you finish cutting that confetti? No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing. So don't let it go to your head. Hey! I own that money! You ungrateful little brat! Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. Oh, okay, no need to get violence. Oh, I gotta make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? Tora-chan! Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? Who cares about all this? Are you okay, Masumi? Don't worry about the confetti. Let me give you a hand. I should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. Oh, he, he is a boy. I thought he was a girl or something. So, Masumi, did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? Oh, I could press X to skip the cutscene, but What's the point if you I'm not gonna skip it. So, I, it's because I'm barely playing. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. Hey. Why don't we treat ourselves today? I know. How about Peking duck? The king of Chinese food. Ah, the duck is dried in the sun, then roasted, and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. If it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. Yeah, way more expensive than the store. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. That was good. Whoa, Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. It looks like someone kills your dad, man. Dad? Dad? He's dead. Okay, and now he's all grown up. December 31st. Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Hey, Ichi. I sent Ichi out to do collections. Okay, I'm guessing those must be the main characters for this game. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done, Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamurocho. Life's a bitch. Hey, watch where you're going. Stop, Bushio, you piece of shit! What? And get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! Leave me alone! Oh, chase down the thug. Okay, now what I do, I just... Okay, the drill of the chase. Navigate the city without bumming any object by displaying the input to catch up with the target. The distant track keeps tracks of how far away your target needs to get before you lose them. Oh, okay. Okay, looks like I'm ready to play. Wait up. Okay, now I'm just need to run. Do I press? Is there any buttons that could help me run faster? Oh, this way. Okay, if I see some buttons, I better click press them quick. Ah! Whoa, that was cool. Okay, keep wanting. Whoa! That was so close! Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, man. Stop making a lot of turns. Ah! Oh no, oh no. Oh no, what happened? Did I lose again? Oh, I died, I lost. No, wait. Looks like I shook him off. Ooh, got you. Bushio, pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, really? Problem is you were calling it uncensored porn. And selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real. It's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitch at the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on. Cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit! 
Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna fight now. So how do I fight? Okay, during the battle, I will select some certain action to take command menu. Let's see, select attack to attack with the weapon on hand. Okay, so I only got a fist right now, so... You can still attack again before the fallen enemy gets up. The way your attack will just change your powerful opportunity strike. They could disact the pain, so take every chance that I got. Ooh, nice. Oh. Okay, the red gun on the bottom is your health. If the health goes to zero, it's game over. I gotta make sure to use some recovery items to make sure I don't, I don't die or faint or whatever. Ah, uh, I have to use the item right now. Should I guard to defend myself? Okay, let's see. Okay, that's it for tutorial or oh, one last thing. If there's any items like the bicycle or street signs near the enemy, a normal attack will change to a weapon attack. So I get to grab nearby objects? Let me see. Hey, can I move around or? No, I can't move around. Ooh, and I won my first fight. Out, man. Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. <laughs> he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <sighs> Nothing. I get it. Fuck. Yeah, hey, look at this real quick. How bad is it? Ooh, so bad. bad. Yeah, you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot. I mean my hair. I just got it done. And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Why don't you see if I can fix it? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know. Don't touch it. Hey, good <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. Are you calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let them get some punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with them. I know how you fight hard when you want them. Yes, I do let them do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Yeah, <laughs> masochist. Unless you're trained to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. I'm just doing, you know, what a hero would do. A hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? When it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Nah. <laughs> nice weapons. <laughs> What's so great about it? Everything. It's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. You do know you're a freaking Yakuza, right? 
If even one guy gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you, you realize that, dude? How many times has Captain Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all over. Look, I like this life with Arakawa-san, the captain, and even your dumbass. I'm not gonna do anything to ruin that. Truth is, I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. Do it, man. But first, let's give that money back to the kids who got scammed. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the SIG shop when you're done. Sure. Hey, Ichi! Old man Takeo, how the heck are you? Good, good. Hey, did you know Mama Michio is looking for you? She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? Duty calls. It looks like quick explore and let's see. I think that pink L will show me the way of what to go next. Oh, let's see. Is there a way for me to check the map? Okay, there's a main menu. Let's see, skills, items, skills, party. Huh. I get the smartphone section is locked because, well, this game took place in December. 31st, the year 2000, and I don't think the smartphone has been invented yet. And let's see, part time hero, dragon card. I think these are probably gonna be unlocked later throughout the game, so right now I'm gonna go walk ahead and let's see. Oh, I get to hold X to one. Uh, let's see. Is there any shortcut for me to go or... I better hope there's some fast travel in this game. Th that's right. So it could be easier for me to... Oh, okay. I found what I'm looking for. Hey there, Ichi. You kept me waiting. Are you drunk? Have a drink. Oh yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Wait, please don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. Yep. Uh, you were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. Are you serious? I'm out here busting my ass making collections. Oh, well, look at you. So big and important. At least I'm not drunk. Hey! I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. And look at me now. Still gorgeous. And you're drunk. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's a choices I get to do. I wonder the choices that I make is gonna affect me throughout the story. Uh, I guess I'll help out. Keep telling yourself that. Look, your liver probably ain't so gorgeous. Let's see, Even kindness level. Up. Wash your grave. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Okay, cool Sokka's personality and may improve depending on his actions. These traits represent Kosa's uh, 
person and we find them on some of the few perks and bonuses such as unlocking new features or characters to talk to. Oh, okay, let's see. I see kindness, intelligence, style, passion, confidence, and, uh, cause... Most, uh, I, I can't read the last C one. The one, the one that has a sun in it. Yeah, try out these different kinds of activities to make Kusuga the best man he could be. Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how soap lands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it. Okay, so I better go over there and go do something about it. Excuse me. Ichi, perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up, and we can't find a plunger anywhere. That's a problem. A plunger. Yeah, the thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on. We're Yakuza, not your handyman. Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. <laughs> it was a baby. Oh, you had accidents until fifth grade. One time. And my stomach was killing me that day. Huh, I guess I need to go look for something. Yeah, I think there might be some missions where I have to go find some items. For a second there, that was something way worse or something. Like, what if I have to go fight some more dogs or something? Uh. Come on, you gotta pay your taxes. <laughs> what tax? New York City tax, buddy. I mean, Six and Bill has a luxury tax on them, don't they? <laughs> so, good times in New York cause a little extra too. Why would I pay that to you then? Get out of your wallet. That's the lamest nonsense I ever heard. Yo. Get out of here, you little punks. Huh? Who the heck are you? I was just cruising by. It's New York City. Can you just let the people chill tonight? Sorry, but we're open for business on holidays. If you're gonna mess with our business, we just have to beat you yours. Oh, pretty scary. But low lives like you gives could true child a bad name, and I'm not about to stand for that. <laughs> Urgh. Get off your horse. Forget it. Let's just kill this guy. Okay, it's three against one. Okay, secret skills, all your special attacks. I still need to put the square repeatedly and or triangle at the right time. Okay, I gotta be careful. Be careful what skills to use, cause the mental points is gonna be wasted if I mess it up. So let's see skills. Okay, fist. Ooh, nice. Ah. Ow, ow. Ow. Perfect guard, put circle in time when the enemies attack, and it'll decrease the damage taken. Oh, man. I could have thought of that. Ooh, I defeat one. Ow. 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 Oh, no one defeated. Ow. 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 
And no, one hit. Yay, one! Dang it, you're dead next time I see you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no sweat, buddy. But for you, the cold little child most dangerous and useful on New Year's. Everyone's strong and waving the cash around. It's easy picking out the time, so be careful, okay? Hi. I will. Thank you very much. Guess I better get that lousy pronjo from the lady at the cigarette shop. Okay, I think the lady should be over there. Yeah, I'm almost there. Okay, the plunger should be around here. A toilet plunger? Yeah. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. <laughs> A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. I think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure. You'd be their gopher for a while, but that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Ah, Ichi the nanny! Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young then why does he need a babysitter? <laughs> century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa is going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. Hey, Aniki. Yo, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yep. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What is our next job anyway? It's a shakedown. Our shakedown? 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. But we thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. Alright, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there, okay? Alright. Time to head to Public Park 3. Okay, I guess it should be straight ahead. Oh, Haniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. <laughs> that dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Don't you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey! 
think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids. As long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> You ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Cause we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory. And my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you. I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? Huh. <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bomb? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. It'd be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time! You be the referee! I want him all to myself! Huh? Huh, I'm Good guessing it's one on one then. Come on! Time to fight! Whoa! He has to have one! Okay, let's see. Skilled! Ow! That's Scuttlehood. Come on, come on, come on! Ooh, that was easy. Yeah, this was I used the skills. If I would have used a wave attack, this would have taken a long way. Still pretty strong. <sighs> yeah, but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Huh, you really do have money. Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Adiki! Why? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, me too. Hey, Adiki! No, oh, that's strange. He didn't take the money. What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off. We just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamarocho, taking care of her. So, that...
Oh, I could take taxi? Okay, get in. I need to get to a young man's apartment complex. Okay, let's see. Ooh, you are super late. Where is he? Hey, miss! Where's the young miss? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Did you forget what day it is? Um, New Year's Eve? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, oh, I forgot the present! I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You didn't. Did you? Of course not. If he asked where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, are you feeling okay? I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh, um, okay. Wait, why are you turning in the go duck in there? Oh, he's just. Wait, is that? Whoa. What the? What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, um, uh, is it safe? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate. But it won't last more than a few hours. But how... Uh, how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Ah, that must be a reason why. Injected here. Oh, no. <gasps> None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Oh no, he's good to arm himself. Don't do it, whatever it's too dangerous. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ooh. <sighs> And 
and he kills he just kill himself. Yep, he's dead. Whoa! And the people getting supplies that he, that he could walk. Where's Yumino san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. As soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Something wrong, sir. Hey. Yeah. Where's Yumi san? Hi. Yumi san is at table over. Uh, she must have left. I believe she got recruited by another guest. We were all busy today, Kunsha san. Mm -hmm. Huh? Is Musi san really healed? Uh, it's complicated. Wow. Does that mean you'll be released from endurance servitude? No. Silly, I'm not that kind of slave. This is an important job. But is it Murisan civilian? So why will you need a Yoko saw like you falling around? <sighs> no one asked you. Now where's Yumi-san? Okay, looks like I need to go find his young master's girlfriend or wife? Well, he did say my woman, so I'm guessing that's probably his wife, so. I'm gonna go have a look around. No, that's a door. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> e John, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up. This is ludicrous. Ludo, what? Use some normal ass words. You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. 
I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. You don't want the money eater? I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? Huh, you don't want to tell me the name? <laughs> I suppose you won't stop bothering me till I show you. Oh, he's a policeman! Uh-oh. Unfortunately. I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. Wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers. Yay! Time to party! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumeno-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. How expensive? Only natural they forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masajo-san. A.G., show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. Is that a fancy and wallet? Master's woman. I, I mean his girlfriend. So that's Oh, that's his girlfriend, I thought. No mind. Was the most expensive one they had. Promise. <laughs> what? Ichiban means the best, but I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> <laughs> How ironic. We should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. Whoa! 
Oh, nice watch. Oh, wow. Oh. No way. Oh, is this real? That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How, how much was it? A lot of money. About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. Too many. Some wingman I am. Horinouchi san, wait! Uh, please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato san? He's. well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course, to you, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? Call you mad? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. <laughs> yes. I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. What? But that was your birthday present! I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money could buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Oh man. Something tells you that that lady is not a good girlfriend of the young Mastoy. Have you been there? Um, young master. Um, did the messy no. use well off? Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left. Might as well use it to wipe your ass.
Johnny Key. Are you done babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Theater Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. Well, this was a good introduction of Yaki Saw, like a dragon game. So, I'm gonna go stop and take a break. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Bye!